Hello, and welcome to Will It Work? I'm Kevin. Uh, today we're going to look at another clone system. It's the Retro Arcade Mini, uh, which is uh, supports this arcade doubles, so you can link two systems together. Uh, basically, fix the camera here. It is a uh, little arcade device that you can buy. These are pretty common. Uh, surprisingly, you can find these, you know, on places like Amazon or eBay or whatever. Um, and they all have, they're all filled with ROMs that um, they cannot possibly be legal because, I mean, a lot of these things have trademarks and copyrights and things. And um, they, uh, you know, they're... Uh, they're not open source or anything, and they and they they they're not in the public domain, but whatever they they still sell them. So you know, uh, these little arcade ones are kind of neat. You uh, charge it up with a micro or a mini, excuse me, uh, USB. It can take an additional SD uh, card uh, for additional games, and you know it has power on the back. Right, and so basically this is, a, a, it'll emulate, uh, it'll take games for um, Genesis, um, Game Boy Advance, Super Famicom, Famicom, um, you know, the usual gamut of the lower end 16-bit um, systems, etc. Uh, that are... Um, Know, and, and it'll also play some music, and you know, I think it'll even play maybe a movie or videos or something. So we'll turn it on here. And there's the doubles game, which is for two-player. I don't have two of these. And then we have game. Uh, and then the SD card, if you have one in here, which I don't. But it comes preloaded with games, so let's... I get this uh, battery is too low air... All right, sorry, I had to pause there for a second so I would get the stupid thing to uh, take the battery. Uh, it looks a little washed out on the camera here. This is in color, uh, but on the camera it seems to be blue. If I can get it close enough, you can see the colors here. Um, try and keep it in focus, though. Uh, so it comes with all the 501 games and, you know, Crash Bandicoot, Metal Slug, Tekken Advance... King of Fighters. I mean, it's, you know, I didn't have to download any of these. This just all came with the the system, Super Mario Kart, Double Dragon. I mean, you know, it can't be legal, but that's just how it is. Um, it's not this blurry. I mean, the blurry you're seeing is because the camera's trying to autofocus against another screen, and it's not doing such a great job. Uh, it's actually pretty crisp when you're looking at it. So let's find something. Um, and I, performance has been, I've tried a couple of things on this, uh, um, uh, and performance has been kind of mixed. Uh, it slows down a little bit here and there, and, and the screen will um, uh, display some artifacting and, or, or refresh issues when that's going on. Um, I mean, whatever I play, I'm going to be terrible at because whenever I'm trying to talk and do this kind of stuff at the same time, it never goes well. It's amazing. There's going to be 500 games. It's just crazy. How can there be, like, it's about everything you can think of. 500 games is a crap load of games. Captain America. Um... Let me see if there's anything here that's uh, maybe a good demonstration of um, Mr. Nuts. Pink Panther goes to Hollywood. So many of these crazy games. I've never even heard of half these things. Ren and Stimpy, I know. Super R-Type, Soul Blazer, Space Ace. I mean, that's just going to be crap. It's not going to be the original Space Ace. Tetris, Tiny Toons, Yogi Bear, Simpsons, 
Zool. Let's look at Zool. Yep. Licensed by Nintendo. This originally came out on like Amiga uh, CD32. I remember when it came out. Ooh, I gotta turn that down. kind of like a you know super mario kind of clone thing i think they had a sponsor with chupa chups at one point so these lollipops were all like branded chupa chups but i don't yeah there it is chupa chups so they still they were still branded can't really play this um You know how these old games, these platformers were. It was really about like just trial and error. You would you would know what's coming up because the screen was so small. So you either had to walk really slow and risk your time going down, or um, just learn it from repetition of where you know you need to be. Which was basically the art of beating most video games was just a. Uh, repetition do I hit this somehow gotta do something with this button it's very impatient now I do see why is it flashing yep so anyway you get the idea um Let's try one more thing. Hi. You can kind of see me there for a minute. Got my glasses on. All right, so the battery is charging. Doesn't want to doesn't want to start when the battery's charging. All right. Well, anyway, you get the idea. The the battery is a little weak on this. Um but uh maybe with a full charge it would be cool. So, I think these things are like 20 or 30 bucks, you know, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's, it's, you know, a 320 by 240 screen. So, you know, it has a screen, but it's not a high end graphic screen or anything, but it, you know, it plays the games that it's supposed to, you can hook up two of them together and play with friends or a kid, you know, if you got kids, you know, you can play gauntlet or something. I don't know what, what multiplayer games there are, but you know, you both got a screen and I believe it, um, some of these you'll find have uh, HDMI out too. Um, I'm not seeing it right here on this one, so maybe not on this one, but a lot of these do. Uh, we could look at the doubles game. Yes, look, you play Street Fighter 2, you know, against each other. Um, so that's kind of neat, right? I mean, just, you know, all these games come with. And, um, let's see, let's go up. Sky Destroyer. Some NES type games here. Yep, that's Karateka again. Or, as they said in the commercials back in the day, Karateka. I don't know who's right. Is it, to me, it looks like it's karate with K-A at the end, karateka. But um, karateka is what they called it in the old commercial. This game's old. I mean, this game is like 1980 or something. I'm not even playing. I hate my play. Oh, here we go to be like a video thing is there like you're trying to get to a shogun you run up on somebody and then you get into like a fighting position somehow 
And I'm totally not going to do it. That's it. And it's game over. It's like a rogue light or something. You have to like... Uh, Um, you have to not die, and it's pretty easy to die. But if you get all the way through, you can totally get to the end. There's like a little story. You're trying to rescue the girl. How do I get into the fighting stance? Okay, so you kind of just want to stay like this, and then like each of these guys have their own weaknesses. The first guy, though, he's he's really not too tough. If you throw a lot of low kicks, most of these guys have this sort of stance, and you can just sit there and beat on their legs, and then they eventually just go down, if I recall. And then, yeah, you, just, you run off. Yeah, and there's the Shogun guy. And he's like, oh, kick that guy's ass. Yes, sir. Dulu. Actually, it looked better on the Commodore 64. So you're running this way, and then he's running at you, and it kind of does this switch screen thing. And there's like a bird, I think, and you have to like look out for the bird because he sends his bird at you, and you got to like kick the bird with a high kick kind of ridiculous and if you don't do that on time you're totally gonna get uh, you're totally gonna get whacked Oop, my big thumb in the way that's really all there is to this game <laughs> There's no, uh, there's some high kicks, you know, you get some more damage done with the high kicks than the low kicks, and you can punch. Um, yeah, but whatever. So you see the system, it's, it's what it is, you know, it's a clone system, just like everything, but, you know, these things these days, they, they come really cheap, you know, it has a battery in it, play music, it's good for, like, young kids, like, you know, you were just gonna get your kids something small, or, or, you know... Or maybe you're dating a girl and she's got a kid and you're like, here, I got you this, you know, and it's full of games. Keep that kid busy for a day or two, you know. Uh, but to, so many things they can do on it. Just make sure it's charged up first because this battery in this thing sucks. Um, but yeah, all right. So anyway, uh, Retro Arcade Mini, that's really all there is to it. I, I would say this controller, it's a little loose, but it's not, it's, it's, it's fairly accurate. I mean, it's... There's some really crappy controllers out there for these things. A lot of them are really bad, like, they're not even micro-switched. And uh, this is actually uh, almost kind of like a, feels kind of analog-ish, but I'm sure it's just pure digital. Um, but it it's pretty good. And the buttons are, um, they're not too recessed, so they're, they're, they, they work. I mean, if you put, like, a hundred hours into this, this thing would be beat to hell. But as like a, you know, a quickie little game system, it's not bad. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's wrap this one up. Thanks for watching and, uh, be watching for the next one. Thanks. Later. Bye.